If you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. That living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging, it's hard. That living alone is just very difficult. And once we begin to come to grips with the fact that living is difficult, always something, you will never ever have a problem-free moment in life. What will it take for me to get some of the things that I want? Number one, you've got to work on yourself. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. And we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind in your dreams and your bills. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up! That voice, constantly. It says, eat it, one little bite won't hurt. But I had to say, no, 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 no. When you're working on something you want to achieve, you have got to stand up to that voice. You've got to sell yourself every day, every day, every day on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. According to your level of belief, it will manifest itself in what you're doing. And part of increasing that belief level is that you have got to convince yourself every day. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. And as you convince you, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again, to go on. You've got to develop a sense of urgency. Stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? That if I speak it, I'm going to live it. It's who I am. One idea can change your life. One idea can turn your life around. I'm going to do it until. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. When crises strike in your life, this is an opportunity for you to grow. Regardless of what comes down the pike, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, always looking for a way that you can win, always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. Live your life with passion, with some drive. You want people that are around you that have smiles on their faces, looking good. If you have some depressing face looking at you every day, keep these dead faces away from you. It's contagious. Have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. You've got to be the kind of person that you are fearless. You are unstoppable. And because you are unstoppable, because you've got power that you haven't even begun to use yet, you owe it to yourself to release your brakes. Most of us go through life with our brakes on, holding back, not giving all that we have, not sharing all of ourselves. Most of us go to our graves still holding on because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain. I've got another shot. See, the last chapter to your life has not been written yet, and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. What this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they find it. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. When you want something out of life, don't worry about how you're going to get it. 
how is none of your business. The most difficult thing it is, is to hold the vision. It's to hold the vision. whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I know there's a yes out here somewhere. And I'm going to keep on until I find it. power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, this is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. There's greatness in you. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me.